Welcome, folks. Welcome. Welcome to the cult of Pandora. We are all part of the cult of Pandora. If you follow me, you are a part of the cult. For my people are her people. However, if you follow her, you are also part of the cult, but her people are not my people. Such is stated by the maker of rules. We cannot discuss the maker of rules. We can never speak the name of the maker of rules. For he is the maker of rules. The one thing we know is we are all followers. So saith the maker of rules. Now as we go on our journey, we must know the only thing we know is we speaketh not of the maker. But we do worship in the cult of Pandora. So let's learn a little bit about the origin of Pandora. All started from a gathering of the gods, where the Titans were also invited. The gathering had been organized to decide who would be favored with the better portion of a sacrifice? Prometheus, the titan who later stole the fire from the gods and gave it to humanity, had deviously presented the sacrifice in such a manner that Zeus chose the portion that looked more appealing, when in fact it was just bones presented in a tempting manner. <clears throat> Outraged at this mockery, Zeus decided to take revenge and get even with Prometheus. Zeus charged Hepetheus, the god of smiths and master of crafts, with creating a dazzling, beautiful woman, one that would have appear irresistible to either God or man. To accompany this feat, Aphrodite, the goddess of love, posed as a model for the creation of the statue. The woman was molded of earth and water, and once the body was ready, the four winds breathed life into it. She was then given gifts from all the Olympian gods. Aphrodite gave her unparalleled beauty, grace, and desire. Hermes, the messenger god, gave her cunning and deceitful mind and crafty tongue. Athena clothed her and taught her to be deft with her hands. Poseidon bestowed upon her a pearl necklace that would prevent her from drowning. Apollo taught her to play the lyre and to sing. Zeus gave her a foolish, mischievous, and idle nature. And last but not least, Hera gave her the wildest gift, curiosity. Thus, the first mortal woman was born, and she descended down to earth. Her name was Pandora, meaning all gifted, implying all the gifts she had received from the gods. So that is why we worship in the cult of Pandora. But remember, followers, obey the rules of he who shall not be named. Thank you for attending this sermon.